Eternal Watcher by Michael Part 4. I am time. For centuries I have roamed the earth, taking what I please without remorse. The humans call me many things. Death, the Grim Reaper, the End. But I am none of these things. I am time itself, the essence of life and death. I have seen empires rise and fall, watched the birth of stars and the death of worlds. I have witnessed the greatest triumphs of mankind and their darkest moments of despair. And yet I remain untouched by it all, for I am beyond their comprehension, beyond their understanding. But there is one thing that I crave, one thing that I desire above all else. Blood. The sweet metallic taste of it on my tongue is like nothing else in this world. And so I take it whenever and wherever I can. From the young and old, from the rich and poor, it matters not to me. For in the end, we are all the same. But one day, as I was wandering through the endless void of time and space, I came upon a curious sight. A young girl, no more than ten years old, sitting alone in a field of flowers. She looked up at me with innocent eyes, unafraid of the dark shadow that loomed over her. Who are you? she asked. I am time, I replied. What do you want? I want nothing. I am simply here to take what is mine. The girl looked at me with a sad expression. You take so much, but what do you give in return? I was taken aback by her question. No one had ever asked me that before. I give nothing, I said, for I am simply the passage of time. But time is precious, the girl said. It's what we have to make the most of our lives. Don't you see? You take away our time, but what do you give us in return? I had never thought about it that way before. The girl's words struck a chord within me and I realized that perhaps I had been wrong all along. That there was more to life than just the passing of time. And so I made a decision. From that day forward I would no longer be the taker of life. Instead I would become the giver of time. For there is nothing more precious than the moments we have on this earth. And it is up to us to make the most of them. And so I seize all but I also give. For time is a gift. And it is up to us to use it wisely.